from Daddy. Before you read this story, there's some stuff you need to know. Read this comment to read this comment wait, to fill yourself on this story so far. But remember, this info is top secret, so don't let it fall into the wrong hands. Trouble with Captain Underpants. Now it can be told. Once upon a time, there's two cool kids named George and Hill. We kick butt. Me too. <laughs> we kick butt. Me too. But they had a mean old principal named Mr. Crump. Come over here, Bobs. No way. One time, George and Harold hypnotized Mr. Crump with his 3D ring. You will obey our command. George and Harold made him think he was a great soup. Superhero named Captain Underpants. Look, I'm Captain Underpants. Ha 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 ha. It was funny at first, but then Mr. Crap got out of the ring. Hey, hey, where do you think you're going? Fight to fight a crime, okay? To fight crime, okay? Doors and Harold had to taste after him so he wouldn't get cold or hurt. Come over here, Bob. No way. They had many adventures with lots of important. What is this? Inappropriate humor. Diapers and toilets and poop. Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> then one day, Mr. Crop asked, her, "What is this?" I don't know. I don't know. Ask to tell me. Ugh. Accidentally. It's spelled wrong, see? Accidentally. They spelled it like how you sound it out. Accidentally. Accidentally. Then super blood blood blood. Now he got, got superpowers and he can fly, he can fly too. Tra -la, la Two things you have to be careful about. Water and fingers snap. If you, if you snap your fingers by Mr. Crump, turn them to Captain Underpants. Tra -la -la. And if you put pour water in Captain Underpants' head, he turns it back into Mr. Crump. Blah, blah, blah. So if you see Mr. Crump, don't snap your fingers, or you'll be sorry. Why does it say like a two? Hmm? I'll be sorry. And if you see Captain Underpants, don't pour water on his head or it'll be so sorrier. Sorrier. Remember, this top secret, so don't tell anybody. Chapter 1 George and Harold. This is George, Be this is George Beard and Harold Hudson. George is a kid on the left with a tie and a flat top. Harold is the one on the right with the t-shirt on the bad haircut. Remember that now. People, please wear your socks on the dance floor. At most schools, the teachers try to embarrass the three authors. Reading, right, reading, writing, and, and rhythmic. But George and Harold's teacher, Miss Ribble, was more concerned enforcing, enforcing what's he called, the three S's. Sit down, set your, set your pie holes, <laughs> <laughs> and stop driving me crazy. While this, while this was enforcing for all the her students, it was especially bad for George and Harold because they were very imaginative points. You see, imagination wasn't really a chords at George and Harold School. In fact, it was discouraged. Imagination would only get you one way ticket to the principal's both office. This is sad for George and Harold because they didn't get straight as, as they were, weren't 
sports stars, and they could barely walk down the hallway without getting in trouble. See what I mean? <laughs> Are you gonna keep going? Please go pee pee on your. Uh, please go pee pee on your socks for once. They turned. People, please wear your dim socks on the floor and two. Please go pee pee in your socks for once. That's silly. See what I mean? But towards the end, oh, I had one thing that most of the other forts at Dremorgan Hortwood's elementary school didn't have imagination. They they were full of it. When one day they would use that imagination to save the entire hu human race for being overthrown by a crazy crazed woman with ever crazier superpowers, but before I can tell you this story, I have to tell you this story. But before I can tell you that story, I have to tell you this story. Chapter 2, Miss Ribble's Big News. Hey, buddy. Yeah? Let's take a little break, okay? Bye. Pause.